If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. My name is Andy Hollis. I'm with eXp Realty and the OBA Living YouTube channel. Um, I create content uh, on YouTube. And basically what we do with our YouTube channel is we try to tell people exactly what it's like to live at the beach. We just show the beach life, you know, exactly what it is. So the Cliff Notes version of my entire story is uh, I was in the car business for 25 years. I decided to retire semi-retire, if you will, and move to the beach. Um, I had a friend of mine, uh, Aileen Fountain, who was just a rock star in real estate. She talked me into getting into real estate, um, which I was very reluctant. I didn't want to work at all. Um, but, <laughs> you know, so, but anyway, I got involved in the, in the uh, real estate industry. And then at, over time, I figured out that real estate probably wasn't for me. Um, the real estate was basically different from the car business in the fact that in the car business, when you, you know, put an ad out there on, you know, like cars.com, car gurus or run an ad in the newspaper, people come to the car lot and they are not there to buy shoes. They're literally there to buy a car. It's instant gratification. They buy the car, they move on down the road. And that's what I was expecting out of the real estate industry, but that is not what happened. Uh, within the real estate industry, it was, I had to continuously chase these people um, beg them to buy a house is what I felt like. Um, I was doing the old thing where everybody was doing, which was buying leads on realtor.com and Zillow and Trulia and all the normal platforms. And then it got to the point where I was spending $1,500 a month on, on trying to buy, uh, quality leads. And these people were not converting. I mean, like they, you'd pick up the phone and call them. First off, if you didn't call them in the first five minutes, they were gone to another, realtor. I mean, they're just, they're, they're just gone. So you were chained to the phone. So, I mean, I was literally chained to the phone. So then if you do call them, then they, you know, they start out, if you do get in touch with them, they start asking you for all this information. You go through, you know, gathering information for them on this property or that property. And then after you've spent two or three months gathering all this information from them, and then you, they, you call them up one day and you say, are you ready to make a move? And they say, oh, we already bought the property. Um, you know, my cousin's brother's nephew is a realtor down there. So we decided to use them, but thank you for your help. We do appreciate it. Um, so that sort of thing was dri driving me insane. So I decided to get out of the real estate industry. I was done. I was going back to the car business. Um, which I, I really didn't want to do because I, the whole purpose was to move to the beach and kind of be my own boss. And, and that wasn't happening. Um, so fast forward to October of, well, actually it was probably June of 2022. And I had a discussion with, uh, Aileen who brought me on board EXP. And I basically told her I'm getting out of real estate. I'm done going back to the car business. And uh, so she told me, she said, look, don't give up on it just yet. Just plug in, really plug into the EXP world and go through all the training, do this for a solid month. And I will pay for you to go to this trip in Dallas. If you'll promise me that you'll put in the work and, um, and see if we get anything out of that. So I did, I dove in head first. Um, we went to Dallas, Texas to this uh, EXP event called build. And, uh, the first day we were there, it was the same old stuff. I mean, it was everybody saying, pick up the phone, call, buy leads. You know, you got to do this. You got to do that. Everything that I didn't want to hear. And so I got back home. I called my wife and I told her, I said, I'm, I'm just done. I'm, I'm coming home. I'm getting in the car business. I'm, I'm done with real estate. This is it. So Aileen tells me, she, I tell her the same thing. And she said, look, just go to this one guy tomorrow. You got to go see this one guy. He's talking about something that I really think is going to resonate with you. So we go to the next morning's event. Um, I went kicking and screaming. I go to the, the next morning's event 
and it was a guy talking about the power of YouTube. How you make these videos, you put them out there and they live forever and then people are picking up the phone and calling you. And you're not trying to sell real estate, you're just being informative. You're just letting people know, listen, here's what it's like to live in this area and if you wanna live here, call me, I'll help you. And so that's where the journey began, the rest is history. Uh, since then we've, you know, we've probably sold close to $10 million off the real estate, uh, off the uh, YouTube channel. And we're currently probably got $25 million in the pipeline. Um, worth of business. So, I mean, it's it's truly been a life changer. Um, I predominantly handle the YouTube side of things now. Aileen handles more or less the real estate side of things. And together, we've been able to build this company out and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the sky's unlimited. <clears throat> so what drew me to eXp was, um, you know, when I first got into real estate, I was with the Remax uh, franchise. And along beside Aileen, you know, she was uh, right there with me. And then she comes to me one day, she calls me and she says, hey, look, I need you to look at something. Uh, it's a whole different platform. It's gonna blow you away. You're not gonna believe it. It's a total different way of doing business. Um, and, and I want you to take a look at it and tell me what you think. And I said, well, let me ask you one question. And she said, what? I said, are you leaving to go to, to EXP, to wherever this place is and whatever it is, are you leaving? And she said, I am, I'm moving my entire business over there. And I said, that's all I need to hear. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm on board. And she said, you don't even want to know about the company. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't care. I don't need to know. I know that you are a rock star agent. I know that you do a tremendous amount of business every year. You're extremely successful. And if you think that this is going to better your business, then I'm in, I'm in hundred percent. I don't need to know. Just tell me where to sign, when to, when to be where. That's all I need to know. Um, and I wasn't getting at the other franchise. At, you know, I wasn't getting, there were several things that were missing for me. You know, I, I'm not all about the training. I'm not all about the, you know, the, the profit, the uh, revenue share is, is nice. You know, I, I, I'm looking forward to building a business on that. And then, uh, you know, the, the stock options are extremely nice, but that's not what drove me there. What drove me there was the sense of family and community that was there. It was like, once I did get on board, it was almost like every single body seemed to care about you and your success. It was almost like weekly where I only had one person who was interested in what I had to say and offer and do. Now it's turned into 80,000 people who have who really care about what I do and if I'm successful or not and how they can help and they want to lend a helping hand and that's what it's turned into um, you know with the old franchise I didn't get that I mean you know one good story comes to mind as a matter of fact I was sitting in a, uh, a sales meeting and I happened to be the salesman of the month and was completely overlooked I mean, like they gave the award to somebody else until it was called to their attention. And it was like, how, how, could, how could you miss this? You know, I had sold two and a half million dollars worth of real estate in that one month and they completely overlooked it. it was, and I'm like, how can you overlook that? And then two months later, they're announcing birthdays and it happened to be my birthday month and they didn't announce my birthday. And so I'm sitting here thinking, I am completely invisible to these people. All I am is a butt in a desk. I'm just a number. They don't care. And so I was like, you know, what better time to leave and go somewhere else? And, and I, I was like, if I'm going to be overlooked here, I might as well be overlooked somewhere where I'm be more successful. And then it turned out at eXp, it was completely opposite. It was just a total sense of community and family and everybody cares. Well, my philosophy on the content that we're creating with the, with the YouTube channel is that we had to stop thinking like a real estate agent. We had to literally start thinking like a marketing agent or like a somebody on the tourism board. I mean, you literally wanted to show people, you know, we're in Orange Beach, Alabama, which is a really small community. I mean, there's probably Within Orange Beach, Gulf Shores combined, there's probably 17,000 people that actually live um, in, in the area. So really, really, really small town. So what we have is we have people living in other states like in Michigan or Ohio or Wisconsin or wherever 
who buy investment property, they rent them out all year long, and then they only visit here two or three times a year at most, and they stay in their condo, And but the rest of the time, they want it to make money. So that's what the whole thing is. It's an investment property. So we had to start thinking like, what we need to do is show people what it's like to live here. So we didn't want to come across as salesy. You know, we're not, when we do a, a house, when we video a house or we video a condo, we're not showing people what it's like to live in that condo or to buy that condo or that house. What we're showing them is, is the lifestyle. How far is it to the beach? If you buy this house, you know, it's a two minute walk to the beach. How far is it to the grocery store? What time do I need to go to the grocery store in the summer? Um, are the restaurants crowded? If the restaurants are crowded, then what time do I need to go to the restaurants? You know, th these type of things. Who has the best cheeseburger? You know, everybody likes to eat seafood when you come to the beach. So we decided we were going to do videos that showed people that there's other stuff to eat at the beach. Because if you come there and you stay for two weeks or so, you get tired of eating seafood. So you might want a pizza, you might want cheeseburger, you might want chicken wings, you might whatever. So we showed people this, these are the best restaurants that the locals eat at and, and, and it really just showcasing the community, showing people what it's like to actually live here. We, gener we, we even have uh, a couple of videos where we show what it's like to go to a doctor. Like if you move here and then you've got to find a family doctor, well, here you go. Here's the video on showing you where all the family doctors are. And here's what it's like to go into their office. And this one just redid his office. So we showed that, you know, so those are the type of things that people are resonating with is that we don't come across as salesy. We're not coming across as we're just trying to sell you a piece of property here and we think of you as a dollar sign because that's not true. We think of you as gonna be our neighbor. We wanna show you what it's like to live here so that if you decide to move here, there will be no surprise. Yeah, the thing that sets us apart is the fact that, like I said, everybody and their brother is doing the whole, you know, here's my new listing, this is the walkthrough, here's the cabinets, uh, you know, here's the flooring, this is what it looks like. All that stuff you can see on the, these websites like Zillow and Realtor.com and Trulia, but what you can't see on Zillow and Truly and Realtor.com or the standard Realtor video is you can't see what the neighbor's house looks like. You can't see whether this is a safe and gated community. You can't see the fact that the pool, while the real estate, you know, their photos look all nice and everything is fa wonderful and fantastic. But then, you know, we show you a video of the pool and show you that the pool is a travesty. They just happen to take it on a good day. You know, the pool needs uh, work. You know, the pool needs to be uh, upgraded. It needs d stuff to be done. But that's what we do is to make completely honest videos and show you the good, the bad, the ugly, the yin, the yang, the ins, the outs, everything that you need to know if you were going to move to that community. So, you know, everything's not all peaches and cream. You know, whenever you go, you know, the beach is nice, but the traffic sucks. I mean, that, it's, a, it's the truth. I mean, the traffic is horrible. And if you don't know at what times of the day and what times of the year that you shouldn't go to certain places because of the traffic, or you're going to have to sit there for three hours, or if you try to go to one of our favorite restaurants on the island, just to give you an example, is Big Fish. Big Fish doesn't take reservations. And if you try to go to Big Fish in the summer at six o'clock at night, you are at a three hour wait. You can forget it. You can forget it. I mean, you're, you're just, and if, if you have a party of seven and you send two people up there to get a table before you get there, you're going to find out once you get there that you can't get a table unless all seven of you are there. You can't go reserve a table. So you can't have two people go in and sit down at the table. But that's the kind of thing people want to know. You know, so they don't want to get surprised when they go to Big Fish and go, yeah, there's seven of us, but two of us are already here. Can we go ahead and sit down? Because they're going to tell you no. So that's the kind of things that we show that other real estate agents are not showing. You know, they'll show you the house, they'll show you the condo, and all that stuff is great and wonderful. But what they also don't show you is if they're going to show you a condo and they're going to, you're going to do a complete walkthrough of the condo real quick with all the flashy music and all the stuff and tell you how much it costs and it's uh, this uh, amount of square footage. Okay, great. But what were the rentals on that property in the last two years? 
did the did it actually make any money? What what is the rental company charging? You know, if, if is it going to be a good return on investment for me? If I spend eight hundred thousand dollars cash on this property, then what's going to be my ROI return on investment? Is it a smart business decision, or should I just take that eight hundred grand and put it in the stock market? That's the kind of thing we show that other people don't show. So that's what makes us stand out from other channels. Well, when we started that channel, so as far as us growing, uh, when we started the YouTube channel, we had no idea that it was going to turn into what it was. Um, you know, we had hopes and dreams and aspirations like everybody else. But, you know, the thing is, so far, I mean, it, it, it was a marathon. It was, it's not a sprint. So when we started the channel, it took a while for us to be discovered. It took a while for things to like really take off. We didn't get our first phone call for four months. Uh, we didn't get our first sale from the channel for seven months. And then it took, uh, you know, after that, it kind of snowballed from there, you know. So within, after us getting started on seven months, we've been in existence for about a year and a half. So I would say one full year worth of content, we've done about close to $10 million in sales off the channel. And for us, we have hired um, two buyer's agents, a transaction coordinator, um, Aileen's pretty much handling all the real estate stuff. I do handle some of it. Um, but for us, in order to grow, it's just more or less to get the phone to ring. You know, we're, we're not all about the whole vanity metrics of, well, how many views is this uh, video getting? Or how many subscribers do we have today? You know, we are growing by anywhere from five to 10 new subscribers a day. Um, but that's not the goal. You know, we've monetized and we probably made a little over $400 from the channel so far. But again, that wasn't the goal. The goal wasn't to make the money from the YouTube channel itself. The goal was to get the phone to ring and have people call us and use us as their realtor. So that was what the whole goal. So the growth to us is to hire more people and to help more people to basically show other real estate agents how to do this. Because, you know, let's face it, if you, uh, you know, as a brand new agent, sometimes you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do to build your business. So I didn't. I was one of those who had no clue how to build a, a real estate business. So, it, but now knowing what I know now, if you took me and you dropped me in another town, let's just say like Tempe, Arizona. If you put me in the middle of Tempe, Arizona, and you said, here's your real estate license. You got six months. I want you to build a uh, uh, a great real estate business and here you go, what would you do? I'd start a YouTube channel. I mean, it's exactly what I do. And I would literally go on YouTube and tell people, I just moved to Tempe. Here's what my life is like. Follow me around and we're going to show you what life is like in Tempe as a new person in Tempe, Arizona. That's what I do. And then hopefully it would be successful. I feel pretty sure it would. And that's, uh, but the point is you have a plan. You know, I never had a plan before, but now I would know exactly what to do. I guess the, the real question is, is YouTube worth it? And, and the, the short answer to that is yes, YouTube is completely worth it. The key to the YouTube channel success is consistency. It is basically, so like with our, our YouTube banner, it says, you know, subscribe to our channel to get new videos every single week. And we, we have made that promise and we fulfill that promise. Now, whether you think you can do one video a week, two videos a week, three videos a week, four videos a week, whatever it is, make a plan, stick to that schedule and really do it. The difference with the YouTube channel is that these leads, the people that call you are completely different from someone that you cultivated on your own, like, Give you an example, a realtor.com agent, you paid for the or, uh, lead, you paid for the lead. They, uh, you know, they're online, they're researching, they put in their information. They say, yes, I want somebody to call me. You pick up the phone, you call them. Guess what? They didn't want you to call them. I mean, they just didn't because here's what you're going to get. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the button or, oh, yeah, I, I just, I just wanted to know a little more information about that property, you know, like, it doesn't have a new roof or, you know, whatever. I mean, they're, they're going to ask you whatever. But with these YouTube clients, we're literally getting two, three, four, sometimes as many as 10 phone calls in a week. And here's the difference. My phone rings. I pick up the phone and they literally say, is this the YouTube guy? 
And I go, oh, yeah. And they go, oh, my God, I can't believe you answered the phone. We watch your videos every week. Oh, my God, we feel like we're talking to a celebrity. And you're just like, oh, OK, well, well, I'm not. <laughs> but, you know, OK. <laughs> yeah, but I get it. You know, and then they go, well, listen, we've been watching your videos for a year and we absolutely love them. And we want to use you as a realtor. We feel like we know you. We feel like we can trust you. I can't tell you how many times I've had people tell me, you you look like you could be my drinking buddy. Me and you could go belly up to the bar and just have conversations all day and, you know, that kind of thing. And and you're like, yeah, well, you know, that's kind of the point. I'm not trying to be fake. You know, we're not we're not making videos where we're sitting there going, you know, uh, you know, come move to Orange Beach where you will love your life and things will be better. And no, we're not doing that. We're just saying, I live here. This is what I do. This is what I enjoy. And if you want to move here, this is what your life could be like. You know, so, you know, we're not trying to be fake. Everything comes off as genuine. And I think that really resonates with people. Um, but I guess the one thing is, again, consistency. You have to be consistent. You got to it's kind of like that old saying, you, you, you have to get up and grind every single day. You got to you got to get up and do it. You know, if you're going to put out new content every week, then put out new content every week. Set yourself a schedule. Make sure you do it and, and don't take no for an answer. Don't make excuses. Everything's going to come up. Life's going to happen. But you just you got to do it. And if you do, it'll change your life. I mean, it literally has changed our lives. Um, you know, Aileen's whole reason behind doing it is different from mine because she didn't need to do it. She didn't have to do it. But her whole thing was she wanted to have something for to create something for the future so she could walk away from the business. So she could sit back, relax and have other people doing the stuff for her. And she have a retirement is basically why she wanted to set this up. It's a lot of hard work in the beginning. But in the long run, is it worth it? Yes, it is. So what does an agent get if they choose to partner with me at eXp? Well, so basically you get the keys to the kingdom. I mean, you know, we would absolutely teach you how to do a YouTube channel from start to finish. What, what we have created is we have created training modules that will teach you and I mean, I wanted to make them so simple that literally a 10 year old could come in, log into the computer and then just go through each individual. There's videos, there's workbooks, there's manuals, there's screenshots of you need to go here. You need to do this. Um, drawing in big red circles, you know, make sure that it looks like this when you get finished with it, you know, that kind of thing. And we literally went step by step and drew this out. But the thing about it is, is that I've partnered with three other agents who happen to be rock stars of their own in different aspects of the business. So, you know, we, we've got like Tim, who is Tim is an absolute rock star when it comes to uh, for sale by owners and expired leads, getting every single listing. Tim can teach you how to get listings like you would not believe. And it's a I mean, it's a method where you don't have to pick up the phone. You can, but you don't have to pick up the phone and call somebody. So it, he shows you step by step exactly what to do in there. Aileen can show you exactly how to cultivate a business out of uh, just working simply off of referrals and building your database and uh, Google my business. And uh, oh God, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, she's just a complete rock star when it comes to it. David is an expert in commercial. And if you want to let, let David sit down and look at a profit and loss statement, and if, if you've got a business and you want to say, should I continue with this business or should I do something different? Then David can sit there and look at it within, you know, within a couple of hours. He might talk and say some stuff that you don't understand, but he'll eventually break it down in layman's terms where you get it. <laughs> and then he'll break it down and say, Yes or no. Either you need to continue on what you're doing right here because you, if you change this, this, and this, you'll be successful or stop it altogether. And so that's what we bring to the table. I mean, is, is you literally get four people who would be completely invested in you and just show you how to be successful and set yourself up for the future where you don't have to go stay on that hamster wheel and completely just grind it out every single day 
for no reason. You're working for somebody else, basically. Defining my why now is different than it was when I first got into real estate. When I first got into real estate, it was, uh, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I got into real estate, started selling real estate so that I wouldn't become an alcoholic. But <laughs> because when you live at the beach, it, it literally is, it's every single day, you know, you, there's, there's so much fun to do and everybody's wanting to do, you, you got to remember you live in a vacation town. So when all your family and friends and they come to visit, well, then they're there for two or three days and all they want to do is party and eat and drink and go to the clubs and the bars and the restaurants and the yada, yada, yada. And, but they don't understand that you actually have to exist there. You, you live there. So you have to find that happy medium to where you're not out just acting like a, a complete maniac. So for me, that was the reason I got into real estate. Now that has since changed. I've gotten married. Um, I've become a devout Christian. I've absolutely given up a lot of things in my life on purpose um, and for the better, I can promise you. But the whole reason for me now is to set myself up and my wife up into a place to where, you know, we can go and do what we want. We can travel. We can, you know, we can have a retirement to where we don't have to sit here. And I, I don't have to work till I'm 90 years old. And, you know, and I mean, I, that's just not what I want to do anymore. I was on the short track of, uh, you know, to be quite honest, before I met my wife, I was probably real close to the... <laughs> <laughs> to the edge of death. I mean, because I was in bad health. I was just doing all the wrong things. Um, and then, you know, once she got involved and everything kind of straightened out, I had a different perspective on life. And, and so now it's, uh, and my main goal here with all this is just to try to help people. I mean, that that's the thing, you know, you, they have these different personality tests that you take and you figure out your love language and all this other stuff. Well, you know, we do one at church to figure out what kind of person you are. And so my profile basically fits the T of I am a helper. I want to be the one to help. It fulfills me in my life and makes me feel better in order to help give someone a helping hand and watch them come up. You know, the whole goal is if I could, I'd love to make about a $100,000 a month, you know, for the rest of my life. And I want to give 50 to 70 grand of it away. I mean, you know, that that's the whole thing. I mean, is I, I, I just want to be helpful and to help people along and seeing other people succeed really does. It, it's, it's an ego trip for me. You know, I just love seeing other people succeed and it, that's just what it's all about.